<laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode 28 of the sit down. Um, my name is Mark. I'm Joel. And in this episode, we talk about James Hetfield's snake. Um, some WAP. <laughs> John Lennon's killer and box set or killer box set. Uh, we talk about Aaliyah's music on going to be on streaming platforms. Yep. Uh, Jamie Lynn uh, Spears, Britney's hotter sister. Uh, I think some new merchandise. Yep. Record store day. And we finish the episode up with uh, a little trivia game. Yeah. Tune in to see who's going to win and what the stakes are. How's it going? Good. You? Not too bad. So, I stopped doing push-ups and got into squats. <laughs> I'm on like day three and I can barely go downstairs. So that was a bad idea. <sighs> I got a hundred squats to hammer out here when we're done. <laughs> oh, shit. Go ahead. Drop them right now. No. I don't have a uh, dumbbell with me, so I'm good. I'll, I'll find something. Yeah. No, I'm good. No. no <laughs> Not good. tonight. Don't air. <laughs> um... Yeah. So that's kind of going on. What do you got here on the desk? You want to talk about that? No, I don't. It's so cute. <laughs> right? It's um, for Record Store Day, which was, uh, since this is coming out on Monday, so this is two days ago, Record Store Day two days ago. Um, Crossley has the Record Store Day 2020 mini turntable, and it plays three-inch records. This is very much a novelty item. Um, you have all the records that are available in your hand, except for one. I left that on the desk for some reason. Um, so last year, they came out with the mini turntable. Uh, and it plays those three inches that you have right there. Um, and this year, they came out with the same turntable, but this one is clear. That's pretty slick. So you can see inside what's going on once you play a record. I don't even know at what speed it plays. How much is that one of those? I uh, just... <laughs> You're like, I don't know. <laughs> I, no, seriously, I just got them in this afternoon. I don't know what, what... what. So do you have to buy the record separately? Oh, excuse me. Yes. But, so when this video is live, um, I would have made a bundle of each of them. So uh there is johnny cash uh roy orbison and there's another one oh jerry lee lewis these are the classics so this is going to be one bundle and then post malone has four records so that's going to be another bundle and then there's going to be um four okay but the, the post malone though this is all the same no it isn't they're all different yeah they, they, they're supposed to be anyway well because they all look exactly the I same know. I saw that. I didn't look into it too much yet, but um, yeah, so they're going to go in bundles. Um, and then we're going to have just a few, just the turntables themselves. You turn that sound off. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're all different. Okay. Post Malone, Wow, Goodbyes, Sunflower, and Saint Tropez? Tropez? Saint, Saint Tropez. Sure. Yeah. I don't know how to turn the sound off here. Mute your, just mute. Mute your computer. <laughs> I don't know anything. Wow. So uh, yeah, that uh, that actually came in right before we started recording. So I didn't. I took them didn't out of the box. Into it too much. And this is it. Sweet. Right on. So yeah, that's for uh, record store day. That's that was this past weekend. Of course, I can't tell you anything about it because it's because Friday it's now. New. And it's new. <laughs> and it's Friday, so it it hadn't happened yet. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Uh, so cute. I know. But it's, like I said, it's really a novelty Maybe thing. that could be my first record player. Maybe. I've got you a deal. Yeah. Actually, I just spent like a hundred bucks on merch. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> we finally got our masks in. Face masks. Yeah, if you yeah, take boy. a look at the site there, you can get some online. It was funny because 
um, as I was adding them, I wasn't 100% sure if people would, would be interested at all. And, um, and uh, so I turned my computer to my wife who was sitting next to me and I was like, hey, look, they're live. And she was like, who's going to buy that? And then not even five minutes later, I get a message on my phone. Like, well, Joel just did. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. Yeah. So strutting the there you go. Funky Moose merch. You got stocking stuffers. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I hope by then we don't need masks anymore. Man, it's never going back. This is just the norm. Now. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'm telling you. I'm no, it's not going to be the normal. Well, I don't think so. With the cases going down. Yeah. Did you see that video? Next week I'm going to be wearing it. I'm going to be wearing that freaking thing. <laughs> Did you see that uh, Wuhan, where the the whole thing started? They had uh, a pool party with several thousands people. I did not. No distancing, no masks. Wuhan is at zero uh, cases. Well, I saw a picture. I actually took a screenshot of it. Uh, that picture of Austin Powers. Did I send that to you? No, you didn't. So, shit, let me find it real quick. Yeah, it's a picture here. It says, I thought about telling you a COVID-19 joke, but there is a 99.62% chance that you won't get it. <laughs> 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 I thought that was cute. That's right. <laughs> yeah, with schools opening and stuff, I don't know how the numbers are going to pan out. But as we speak, I think there's only 44 active cases in the province. I think we're, as a province, maybe as a country too, I don't know how Ontario and, and um, Quebec are doing right now, but I think we're on the right track at least. Right. But yeah, so uh, face masks and we have women's shirts on the site right now because um, someone requested one. Um, and the plan is to have more. I have, I've, I've been working that, that sweater that you're wearing right now something like that but with a splash design that we had last year for the summer on t-shirts that's going to go on sweaters um i have a few other ideas how's your um the other t-shirts there for the vinyl canadian vinyl collectors close canadian record collectors yeah yeah that i'm not a part of that's that's actually going very well sweet yeah it's uh i've, I've been asking people to post selfies when their shirt arrives and they do and then every con every it, it hasn't failed yet every picture that's posted there is one comment where can i get these what's that guy's name with the red hat again mike mike yeah yeah mike i want a red hat Who I want mike yeah that one <laughs> <laughs> yeah i want to see a picture of mike wearing that hat i have one. Oh, never mind i don't want to see it <laughs> <laughs> you want mike to send it i yeah uh... <laughs> Oh, I can make something happen. That's funny. I know, Mike. Um, shit, man. We had a couple. The last couple episodes were pretty solid. Yeah, I want. I want to talk about weapons. I'm gonna put the pen down because I've been told click, that click, I'm click, always click, clicking click. it all yeah. the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> weapons last week. Yeah, that was fun. Those guys are awesome. They're funny. I honestly, uh, in chatting with him, I uh... have you talked to them since? Oh yeah. 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 But before it was like, okay, how are we doing this? What do we need and stuff? It very, um, not business like, but you know, it's very uncertain. Like, how, what are we doing? How is this gonna go? Right. What, you know, you don't know each other. Yeah. But then I've, I felt like as soon as we got into the video, it was like rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I should show you that video because. Uh, you got something for me after? Yeah. Off air? It's 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 on my phone. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, they were pretty freaking funny, man. Yeah. I had some good laughs. I want to see them live. I really do. Yeah. I, they're going to go, I think they're going to make it pretty far. Yeah. For sure. I think so, too. Keep doing what they're doing. And so, because we were, I, I don't know if I'd say hitting it out of the park, but we've been, you know, getting some guests on and stuff like that, like... Yeah, there's after, been a couple instances people have reached out to us. After that video, I got at least well, at least one uh, band, Solid. Uh, the band's name is Solid. Mm, no, I'm just kidding. No, go on. Um, but they're coming on 
we're not a hundred percent sure of what date yet, but uh, yeah, yeah, we got some more guests for you yeah. guys lined up. Um, and if you're in a band and you want to promote your stuff, yeah, and you know, talk to us. That's right, and that's all it is. Like, I don't, I'm not an interviewer. We're not interviewers, you guys. No, we're no, just no. a platform here. We just want to shoot the shit with you guys, and like, we want to learn friends, man. That's all. We want to like, learn. Not... And if it doesn't matter if you have twenty fans, it, yeah, like. Or how, yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. And you know what? I almost, I get uncomfortable when I'm like asking them questions. I know we have to ask questions, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I no, just want to wanna... hang out and yeah, talk just... about like, yeah, what right. are you watching on Netflix? Like, I, you know, <laughs> you know we want to get to know the people behind the band. That's like, right. Yeah, we want to yeah. like, know about the music awesome too. That yeah. We're fans, obviously, if you're on yeah. the show, but like, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to just ask di uh, different questions, I think. Well, next I don't time know. Guess. We'll see what happens. We'll see. It depends who it is, right? But yeah. I don't want them. I don't want people out there thinking that we're the news or interviewers or oh, stuff. We're no. not because we're just hanging out no. with them and whatever. And that's, that's what this is going to evolve into to later when we can meet people. Yeah. We're not going to go, hello, we are Mark and Joel and your name is. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. We're good. just going to set up microphones was, because we need the sound. But yeah. we're just going to hang out, have a few drinks. I was, something I was thinking about this last week, I was kind of worried. Like, I don't want to be... I'm not a news broadcaster or something. No. You know what I mean? I don't want to stray no. that way. And I don't no. want people thinking that that's what we are neither. Anyhow. I hope we don't come across as newscasters because... <laughs> yeah. We're just a couple... Idiots in buttfuck Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too funny. I haven't slept with Daryl. Have you? No, oh, yeah, Daryl. <laughs> what about... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was probably my highlight. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, hey. Hey. -o. I read something today and I had to look it a little deeper into it, but there's a new venomous snake. Is it south out or is it just okay hang on so instead of clicking your pen you're tapping on the table now <laughs> there's anyway there's a new venomous uh snake that's out there and they named it after james hatfield from metallica because james hatfield is a snake well it says i'll, I'll read off of this article but uh i think if you lean back you're going to be out of frame. out of frame probably <laughs> essentially it's just saying how the scientists that found this are like they're just their fans and they want to i can't, can't even find that paragraph anymore but can you imagine like we want to hear get this we wanted to uh, this is from the scientists okay yeah, yeah yeah we wanted to honor him uh and thank you for all the good vibes his music has transmitted to us during all of our personal lives and careers uh, they continued further explaining, also, we think that a mysterious, venomous, and cool-looking snake who lives in the base of a volcano, lost in the middle of a tropical forest, is very relatable to heavy metal. <laughs> How awesome is that? <laughs> so, yeah, there, he's got uh, this new s snake is named after him. I'm trying to find the scientific name for it here because it was funny, too. So now he's not going to do the devil's horns anymore. He's going to do the... The, the fangs yeah fangs well there's a picture here with his tongue sticking out so. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I can't that'd be it. sweet having something cool like that named after you it's the no doubt if you want to name something after me that that's cool not the shitty stuff not like an std or anything <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> The next COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. This isn't COVID-19. This is COVID mark. Fuck. <laughs> Why can't I find... Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Atheris Hetfieldy or something. <laughs> if I'm even saying that right. That's the right scientific name for that. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Definitely. You said you listened to that album, the S and M two. No, well, I heard uh, two or three songs off the album. Uh, one was one of them. Uh, Did no. they play it on the first one? 
Yeah, I think so. Oh, I don't remember. I, I, I have it on DVD, I think. I know. I used to have it on CD, and I don't remember. I don't remember that CD much. But um, from what I heard, because I was listening to a Dutch radio station, and they had their day devoted to that album. So they were okay. playing tracks throughout the whole day. And I just tuned in when one was playing. Um, now, I was listening in the car, so maybe that's why, but it sounded like the band themselves were louder than the orchestra behind them. Well, that's a good thing. Is it, though? Well, it's Metallica. I know, but... You're not going for the... Like, well, maybe you're going for the symphony, but it's still Metallica. I know, but why collaborate, then, if you can't hear the orchestra? Like, okay, so don't get me wrong. There, there are parts where they play together, but in one where it's, like, the heavier parts... It's just a band, and every once in, a, once in a while you hear the violins in the background a little bit, and then it's the rest, like, as if it were on a regular live album. So, I, I'll have to listen to it again. Um, yeah. But right now, yeah, from what I heard, and like I said, it might be in... It's probably, what kind of mood were you in where you're listening to it, too? I was late, so I was flooring it. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> um... Have you gotten any speeding tickets lately? Fuck off. <laughs> I have not. Okay, I've good. been driving the speed limit, oh. which is so slow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh my god. Uh. So bad, but yeah, no, I've been I've been a good boy. I still owe SGI. So get this. So here's my little rant on this. Uh oh. So the first ticket I had gotten was two hundred bucks, right? So I pay the two hundred dollar ticket, and then I get a letter from SGI that. I'm at minus one, so I have to pay 50 bucks yeah. for the minus one point. Yeah. Okay. But then six days later, I got that other ticket. So that was another two points on my license. So now two. I... Two? Yeah. Every, every speeding ticket is two points, I guess. So how come you were at minus one? You were plus one before? Yeah. Yeah. And then minus two points put oh. me at minus one. Yep. Okay. So mm -hmm. six days later, I get another one. So another minus two points minus for three. minus three. Yeah. Now I get a bill from SGI that I owe $150. Now. 50 bucks for each point. Yeah. But, I, but I'm but i at minus. Yeah. But I already paid the $50 for the minus one point already. So why do I have to pay $150 now? Do you see what I'm Cause saying? Because you, you got four points. Two, yeah, but I was at two plus one. You have to pay $50 for every oh, negative for point. Oh, okay. Right? So I was at minus one. So I paid the 50 bucks. Then I got another minus two to put me at minus three. Yeah, I'm following. Yeah. I, I know exactly what so, you mean. I, I haven't I paid it yet because I'm, do, I'm, I'm running this in my head. Because the type of person I am is I'm going to call SGI and I'm going to bitch about it and be like, no, I already paid you for the minus one. So I'll give you $100 for the, my minus two points. 50 bucks a point. Mm -hmm. But I already paid you for this one. So I was going to say, kids, if you don't speed, you don't get this. Yeah. Or I can just pay it and shut up. But maybe you're right. That's right. Maybe there's a mistake there. Well, it could be that because they were so close to each other that it, I thought it of that too. hasn't So I guess processed. it wouldn't hurt to just call. Yeah. I don't have to be a dick about it or nothing, but Not I can be time. like, yeah. Because I was guilty. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah what, that's why I paid the tickets, yeah, right? But yeah, I'm like, sure. really? I paid this ticket and I have to pay SGI? Yeah. Like, come on now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that's my little rant on that. I'm not even going to talk about my internet. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Because before we started this video, I had a little rant to Joel about my internet provider. Yeah. We, well, you know what? Let's talk about that when it's faster. When is that going to be? <laughs> <laughs> when Musk puts those sides up in the sky. I don't want to talk about it, Joel. You're going to make me aggravated. <laughs> As the flag's like glitching. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Buffering, buffering. Fuck. Frickin. Oh, hey, yeah. so I was just looking here at one thing to remember Aaliyah. Yes, I do. Right? She died in that... In a plane crash, right? Yeah, she Was did. that September 11th plane crash? No. No, she died in the 90s, like before. Oh, uh, 2001, sorry. Yeah, so was that not... I had a crush on her. On her. Or what was that movie with the vampires <laughs> that she was in? She's in a movie the... with vampires and didn't Korn do all the soundtrack to it? Twilight? No. 
<laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> Anyways. The, vamp- the one with the vampires. How many vampire movies are there? Well, the one with Aaliyah. <laughs> like, oh, I can't. Uh, Google that. Yeah, please do, because that's really going to bug me. And Google, it, are you sure it wasn't this September 11th one that no. she was in? Oh, look at my Google. Yes. Went off for some reason, because you said the G-O-O word. <laughs> hey, Google. I shut it off. Okay. Um, okay, anyway, so while you're looking that up, so uh, it said something about uh, her music is finally coming to streaming services. She was... Um, I didn't know that you couldn't get her, like, you couldn't stream her music. You know what? Until we talked about this, I never really... Thought of it, didn't right? No. Yeah, no, me neither. Because, really, I don't really go back into the 90s much. I should. Like Usher and uh, that '90s R&B stuff, like Usher, Usher and uh, R. Kelly, uh, Destiny's Child, R. Kelly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Seal. Uh, Usher was in a few movies too, but when... Ali- oh yeah, Aaliyah was in Romeo Must Die. That's with Jet Li, isn't Queen it? of the Damned? Yes, that's the one. All Queen right. of the Damned. I think Corn did all the soundtrack to that movie too. Don't quote me on that. That's just what I kind of remember from there. Queen of the Damned. I'll IMDb that stuff for you. Um, what? Several what? high-profile artists, including Prince Metallica, Bob Seger, and others, held back their music from streaming services. Oh, yeah. I knew that. Metallica had, were very late to the party. However, in some cases, the holdout was due to problems with the artist's rights. Yeah. Which was... Mm-hmm. Which has long been the case with Aaliyah. Not with Metallica, though. Uh, it doesn't sound like it, no. no. So, like uh, like we were saying, that we didn't even realize that you couldn't stream that. But that's all going to change, apparently. Something with the estate. I'm trying to think, what's one of her hits? What's a big hit from Aaliyah? Try again. What's a big hit from Aaliyah? Try again. What is <laughs> not in this lesson with you? Um, how does that go? I can't. I can't think of that one. I don't know if I've ever heard it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure you have. Um, uh, she was pretty young. How old was she? Twenty-seven. Twenty-two. Hmm. And Tupac was what? Twenty-five. Yep. My internet's slow. The Aaliyah track is coming. Try again. Okay, you got seven seconds to recognize this. Nope. Anyway. Is that on Romeo Must Die? Yep. Yet Lee is in there. Yeah, I knew he was in that movie. I'm pretty good with movies. Like, Usher was in... Yeah, <laughs> I, could, I could describe the whole I'm show. very good with movies. Yeah. Usher was in... Uh... That, that movie. Ah, shit. Where all the teachers are like aliens. Elijah Wood's in it. What the hell's the name of that movie? Do you know what I'm talking about? Nope. Where they have to drink all the water? Nope. Oh, my God. That was such a good show. Nope. I, you gotta look that up. No, it's such a good movie. Everyone's just shaking their fist at me. Yeah. <laughs> well, they do that anyway. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, apparently whatever the problem was with the estate is being settled, and you will be able to stream her music. Okay, Not so... like right now, but in the near future. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say I'm, I'm gonna look that up now. Oh, uh, you mentioned Tupac. Yeah. Right? He was 25, I think. I'm trying to, I'm kind of just steering towards that uh, 20, <clears throat> age 27 thing. There, right. Actually. And I'm steering towards his. Um... The Faculty. That's the name of that movie. I had to Google it. <laughs> oh. You've never seen The Faculty? No. It's, that's a good show. Uh, but did you know that Tupac's school, uh, high school love letters are for sale? 
I do now. Cool. Do you still have any of your old high school love letters? I never wrote one. No? Nope. Well, not like, just notes that you would pass in nope. class to some crush that you ever had. Mm -mm. No? Did you? I did for a long time. Really? For a long time, like well into my 30s, man. No, late 20s. Yeah. Into my late 20s, I had shit from like freaking grade six and eight. And, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> okay. Like high school. I like thought I thought you were high. writing love letters till you were tw no. late 20s. No, no, okay. I still had, okay. <laughs> I still had okay. the little notes and yeah, stuff yeah. like that from like little high school crushes well into mm -mm. my late 20s. Mm -mm. Then I uh, no. grew up and threw them all in the fire. Crying. <laughs> no, just kidding. Oh, this girl is so awesome. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but they did. They got burnt for sure. Had to get rid of that shit. I don't. I don't hold on to old shit. No. No. You don't have like old yearbooks, any of that kind of stuff. We didn't have yearbooks. I am such a hoarder. No. I am so bad for like useless shit. Old stuff. No. Well, moving to a different country helps. Yeah. Because you can't bring much. Right. So I do have like picture albums. I bet you at, at like your homestead there, there's you probably got a bunch of stuff. There's nope. probably a room with like a nope. whole bunch. No. Nope. 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 Do you there's think a... you still have your bedroom at, at your mom and dad's? Like, do you think your mom and dad still no, have your they room moved. set up? Right. No. Actually, in the house where I grew up, my mom turned my bedroom into her uh, like sewing room. Right. The bed was still there, but... Into the office. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke there, but... Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. I, I know that um, I had a bike accident in... What was it? 2004? No. Uh, early 2000s. And my helmet and my suit, my, my leather suit, are still in their attic. Right. I don't know if my parents are keeping that for, as a reminder, or they think I want it back. Maybe, because it's yours, they don't want to get rid of it. I, I told them I'd keep the helmet, but... The helmet all cracked, or what? The, Messed up. If I didn't have a full face helmet, I wouldn't be sitting there. Right. Yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. How do we get to this? Oh, uh, you're a hoarder. Hoarding, love yeah. letters. Jesus. Oh, Tupac. Yeah, Tupac love Pac. letters. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I. The, so they you know, that it, that yeah. could be very interesting because he's like very poetic, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure. So I wonder if they're like. They're. I think they're gonna go for a stupid amount. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how old this article is. August. Oh, today. <laughs> okay. So they will go. They are for sale, but I also read in another article that they are on the auction block. So. I wonder how that. How would you sell that? Like. That auction is it like online? Like, could you and me place a bid on it? Yeah. Probably it's, right. I think it's Sotheby's. That's that that English. I think it's English. They're that huge auction house that that always sell um, like uh, famous guitars and whatever and they stuff like that. You know what would be cool to have? The Pick of Destiny. Yeah. You should like, search for it. No doubt. Not just not a replica like the, 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 uh, actual, the actual Pick of Destiny. Yeah. Check it out. See if you can find me one. No. Come on. Did you know that John Lennon? I'll try. Lennon's... Well, I'll, I, I'm listening. But John I'm going to try and find the pod here. John Lennon's uh, solo, uh, or John Lennon is getting a solo box set for his 80th birthday. I guess he's turning 80 soon. He's dead. I know, but he would have been 80 soon. And he's getting a solo box set. So. A box set of all his solo recordings. Yes. That's all the info I have. No release date, any, or on his birthday, I guess. Uh, when was when, his birthday? Yeah, when's his uh, birthday? I don't know. 
just a heads up, it's coming. I don't know when. Um, so yeah, did you find the Pick of Destiny? Yet? There are 62 Pick of Destinies for sale on Etsy. There are about 20 or 15, I want to say euros. 1536. How much is that in Canadian dollars? 15? 15.36. Uh, $23. Somewhere around there. But that's not the actual pick of destiny. Could be one of them. I'd have to buy them all to, to be sure. You know what Etsy is, right? No. Is it a BS? Etsy is a marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> Etsy is a marketplace for, for uh, handmade stuff. So you're well, it's the devil's tooth. You're looking at something that someone is, has made. From Satan's tooth? No. <laughs> Come on. No. Okay, Amazon? <laughs> Seven bucks. <laughs> hey, speaking of John Lennon, <laughs> I'm just going to continue the show. Yeah, that's okay. yeah, do that. You can get the horn too, I'm just saying. Did I'm you know uh, John Lennon's killer, Mark Chapman, he got denied parole again? Good. I didn't know he would. Why is he even up for parole? Why does why is he eligible to be up for parole? Okay, okay so... Like what, he killed somebody. I don't get I know, that. I know. But what I don't understand, this guy has been in jail for... Uh, he received a sentence for 20 years to life. And he went to jail. Uh, yeah, he went to jail in '81. Now, so thirty-eight years. Yeah. Thirty-nine. I know. I years. I know of people that shot and killed people that are out after like five or ten years. Why <laughs> is this guy? I mean, maybe he is a psycho and never changed. And well, and and where is that too? Because the law. The laws can be different there too, right? New York. Um, yeah, that I don't know if I want to get into that conversation no. too too much. No. But it makes me wonder, like, if this guy got parole denied, why, why him and not others? You know, maybe he is psycho and is not showing any signs of improvement all right but yeah i don't want to get into that no. okay because yeah carry on moving on moving on um you sent me a video last week about two female rappers oh yeah how did you like that it's pretty good pretty good that's on that reface app too i wouldn't call it good <laughs> i enjoyed it it was entertaining yeah. You know what it reminded me of? Do you remember uh, Methods of Mayhem came out with that video, Get Naked? Yes. That's oh, kind the video. of... That kind of is what kind of feeling that put me in. Look at me throwing it back to 90s again, right? Um, like today's modern day Get Naked. Sorry, I can't, st I can't stop staring at this picture. What are you looking at? Well, Cardi B and Megan B. Stallion with the tongues out. I mean, it... But yeah, that was a few weeks ago, that video came Yeah. W-A-P. You know what that stands for? I do. What does that for, Joel? The title of the song. Some wet ass pussy. Yeah. Good tune. <laughs> I don't, I, so what was your, what was your thoughts on the video? Did you find it like too explicit, too vulgar, all that kind no, of grandpa ness with your old age? No, no, I care zero about that. Right. It's just that I find it interesting that you know, with the whole Me Too movement and everybody walking on eggshells about you know, and then this comes women, out. and then sh they come out with this, and um. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down inside of me. Yep. Quick jump out for you let it get inside of me. That's right. That's part of the lyrics. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm totally okay with it. Do you not think that there is a, 
any a better time to release that than than when they did i think it's perfect yeah I, when else are you gonna release it right and like timing wise man i it's almost like genius I want to gag. I want to choke. <laughs> yep. I want you to touch that little dangly thing that swings in the back of my throat. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> That's a... That's a good one. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Miley Cyrus released a new video last Friday, too. I didn't watch it all. Last that. Friday or last last Friday? I think it was last Friday. Which date? Because as we're recording, it's Friday. The 21st, I think. So last week. Yeah. So, okay. Two Fridays ago. Yeah. If you're watching. Right. Or listening. Yeah. Um, okay. What's the song called? I was just trying to remember. Oh. I almost said like Mystery Sky, but I don't know if that's accurate. Is she releasing new songs? I think she's got a new album up. So. I have a thing for Miley. I don't know what it is. It's. I'll be honest, I like her better with longer hair. Actually, no. Okay. Here we go, people. With pink hair, like on the... Um, what's that show on Netflix? Black Mirror. Did I, you, watch, did I, you I, watch that episode no. with her in it? No. Yeah, she's kind of cute there with pink hair. Anybody got time for that? Yeah, I know. I do. Yeah, that's all I have time. <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick throwback here. I cannot find like the pick of destiny. I know. This is like a little frustrating to me. But that's you don't have Google Foo. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you don't know how to Google. True. Mm. You, ever, you haven't watched your mom's house, right? Do you watch that podcast? No. I've referenced it a couple times, but their producer, Nadav, he's like really that the so the going joke is how terrible he is at googling things right <laughs> and how slow it takes him and i don't know i'll tell you about it off air but it's pretty funny there's a song and it's like nadav is googling can't seem to find it <laughs> <It's> so dumb <laughs> i'll show you after but yeah pick a hey destiny um picks. tenacious d in the pick of destiny are the you gonna find me the pick sale. no <sighs> you don't play guitar man I don't care. I yeah. want the pick of destiny. Oh, okay. I don't need how to know how to play. I just need the pick. <laughs> what's, what's the obsession with the pick? I don't know. I'm just a D fan. Nice. Um. So. I I feel like I'm always bringing it back to the same bands and topics, but Britney Spears in the news again. Because you have a thing for Britney Spears. I might. That's, I don't know what that is. Okay. I think I know what you're referring to. Is it like the where her sister is taking... Well, we talked about this prior, how her dad, she doesn't have the rights to any of her music or something. Like her, her money. Like her... her of everything. That's yeah, right. Yeah, she owns like, nothing. That's right. That's crazy to me. I know. But I was talking to some people on Twitter about this. And... Um, follow me. That's Mark Poppin. Um, it's like the power. I don't of, have Twitter. It's the power of attorney here, where someone is not in their is not capable of managing their day to day lives. <sighs> so, someone else that is capable is appointed to them. Right now, that's Britney's dad. Okay, wait. So that yeah, but when was he appointed that? Like when she had that little when mental, she had the meltdown, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do you not think that enough time has passed? Since I don't know. Then? Has she improved? Well, she was uh, doing like the residency at Vegas for like a really long time. Oh, yeah, she can perform. She she knows how to do that because that's basically the only thing she knows how to do. So she's a puppet. Yes, and remember that time when she uh, accidentally uh, set her gym on fire. Well, she, I didn't, I don't remember, I remember her referencing it. Yeah. So that was... With a candle or something. That was one of those things where uh, the way she responded was, you know, like, okay, she's clearly not ready for this yet. You think so? 
that's what I understood. So now everybody, and I think it seems like everybody is up in arms and you, everyone is worried about Britney and Britney doesn't seem to give a shit herself. I don't know. I don't follow her or anything, but that's the feeling I get. But everybody's like, oh, give Britney her rights back. Yeah, or free whatever. Britney. Yeah, something like that. So if right now the dad, her dad is is in charge. That's right. And they. And I think I think he's got some health things going on too. Right okay, now. so now her sister, what is it, Jamie Lee or whatever? Uh, Jamie, Jamie Lynn? Lynn. Yeah, she wants to take over. I I think she has. I think she is the trustee. Yes. So if something happens to Brittany, Jamie Lynn gets must get the kids. All of, all of it. Maybe everything. Right. As far as I know. Yeah, she's the trustee. Is all I know at this point. I don't know. That's that's how far I got into all of that. Oh, so. She was appointed trustee on the estate in 2018. Um, and last week, in a court filing, she asked for control of money stored in a trust fund set up for Britney's kids. Okay. That's what it said. Um, she requested the money be moved into accounts for which she is the custodian. Okay, so what I don't understand is that there are literally protests... People with banners, free bit Britney. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. You, I mean, sure, you're a fan and you want, but if she can't take care of herself, why would you have her control her own money, which you know she's going to burn in like... Well, so it's because they don't see what yeah what like they're not in there holding the candle so they don't see the crazy so they don't believe it right like me i'm i'm i haven't seen it neither so she shaved her head big deal you right. know that's that's what i see like i'm so far away and excluded from yeah, it yeah but then you have like, the the hardcore fans that say they know everything about Britney. Are, are they maybe too close to the whole situation and too much of a fan that they can't see that she... Is, isn't wacko? Is, well, I, won't, I didn't want to say it that way. but I don't think she's wacko. But I just... But there's... So, I think there's something off. She grew up as a... Exactly. As a kid star. Yes. That's what I was going to steer And she yeah. hasn't had Mickey any Mouse guidance. Club. That's right. She hasn't had any guidance into the real world. Growing up in the so public she doesn't eye. Yeah. All that jazz. Yeah. And it just didn't go good for her. It she, Like, financially, it did. But she doesn't know how to handle those finances. No, so. she's still stuck in that... Uh, in the like, 90s. Yeah. Like you. Like, but mentally. Yeah. So is Madonna. Madonna's stuck in, what, the 80s? She's very stuck. <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, that's... I don't know how what the age difference is there and but but I mean that's what's going on like everyone seems to be fighting for Britney's money. Isn't that kind of what was going on with Michael Jackson at one point too where there was always like family going after money and shit like that all I don't the time? Know. I don't know. I didn't keep track of that one. I don't know. No, I don't know. Anyways, so that was in there. Cool. Britney She's always posting these videos of her dancing, right? Because that's how she trains or whatever, like because she's a singer slash dancer, right? But it's always in the same spot and it's always kind of seems to be the same dance moves, but that's how she keeps in shape. And you watch that religiously? Uh, the first few times I, I would sit through the whole thing and now I'm just kind of like click, click, click. Yeah. I think it's time for a break. Sure. I need a drink. Um. Hey, you want to play a game? I do. Want to play a game? Want to play a game? Okay. Um, I sent you a, a link for a music trivia. We're going to ask each other questions. These are random questions all about music. We haven't read the, uh, the questions or answers before. So this is all 
I'm going to ask you a question. Sure. And then you're going to answer. Are we going to are we going to keep score? Oh. Let's yeah. keep score. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here. All right. Let's put some stakes on this. Okay. So oh, I just shit. bought I just bought some masks. Yeah. <laughs> right. So if I win, you have to buy half of them off of me. <laughs> you want to get rid of them already? <laughs> <laughs> and if I win, you buy five more. Um. If you win, I'll buy. Okay, wait. Here we go. Let's let's play for four masks. Maybe four we, masks. We should have done this. What do you mean? Four well, masks. because I bought six. Yeah. Right. I'm definitely keeping one. Janelle's gonna keep one. Yep. So I got four there. I got wiggle room for four. So if I win, you buy four of you. Two off of me, because I want to give two away. Okay. And then if you win, I'll buy two more. We'll play for two masks. Deal? Why would I do that? Just so, oh no. Well, no. then you better just win. No, actually, it doesn't matter because the the masks on the website are cost, so it doesn't matter if I buy them from you or from the print shop. Whatever. Okay, two okay. masks. All right, let's play for two masks. Fuck. Okay, how many uh, questions? Let's do. Best of seven. First to first to five. First to five? First one to get five answers right wins. Okay. All right. Who starts? Now, what are we doing? Easy, medium, or hard? It's going to be fun. I'm going to fucking kill him. Not hard. Just right. go easy and medium. All right. I mean, I've, I've looked at the... Uh, anyway. Okay, go. And am I trying to, like, stump you? or? We'll see if you get them right. I guess I'll pick... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not... Okay. I'm just Paper, rock, scissor, two. Who asks the first question? Oh, you know... You, Okay. <laughs> the winner the winner gets to ask the first question. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I always have the same thing. Fuck. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Which rapper is featured on Fifth Harmony's songs song Worth It? Wait. Uh Missy Elliott? I see. Shit, I don't know. Keep going. You won't get it. Okay, well, tell me. This is a medium one, and it says Kid Ink. Kid Ink. Yeah, I don't know who that no, is. No clue. I don't know why I wrote that down, neither. Like, like I need a <laughs> reference point. <so. laughs> no, you just need to write points. All right. That's what I need to write. See, I'm thrown off. Okay. Um, <laughs> you just Because Mark here, okay, here, and I'm here. Yeah, and then line, and then... Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. One. Okay. I got it. <laughs> Look, and this is this is the one I had lined up for you. Easy breezy. What was the first music video played on MTV? Fuck, I don't know. I'm gonna guess that it was money. not for points. Why not? First one to five. So we each get a guess. I don't know what the answer is. Okay. Right. Yeah, but then you can pick out the ones that. Oh, I know this one. Oh, actually, so you don't get a point there because you didn't even guess. <laughs> this is going so well. <laughs> this is like our every day-to-day -day conversations. <laughs> right? Okay, no, you don't get the guess. Uh, okay, so uh, first... Uh... I, I can guess, but if, even if I get it right, it doesn't count. Okay. All right, but you want to go first. Because I... I think I know the answer. The first video on MTV. Come on, Mark. I don't know. I honestly like pick a video. MTV. Okay, MTV in my country came like three years after MTV was a thing here. Oh, so then you gotta. But the only. Um, no, I don't know. Dive straights. I'm gonna guess money is for nothing. Money for nothing. Yeah. That's dive straights. What it said. Yeah. That's it. Nope, video no. killed the radio star. Oh, I would have never guessed that. Yeah, I, w I. That was the first one. Yeah, I would have known. Okay, so we don't. All right, nobody. Nobody. Gets point. nobody. Okay, you're right. up. Okay, I'm gonna give you an easy one here. Wait, well, yeah, I, you think it's easy? It I says thought easy. That last one was easy. What is Jimi Hendrix's real name? Oh fuck, I don't know. James. <laughs> <laughs> James Hendrix. Uh... <laughs> oh fuck. 
James Marshall Hendrix. So does that count as a half? You, you just said James, though. I did, right? What is this, freaking Jeopardy or what? <laughs> okay, you question? get a point. You get a point, whatever. <laughs> um, you get a point. You said James. Okay, so... Sweet. But I mean, Jimmy, James, it's yeah, kind of obvious. Anyway. Uh, well, it was an easy one, right? Okay, Exhibit yep. had what show on MTV? Pimp My Ride. I think that's right. Look at that. That was too easy. Too easy. Hmm. <laughs> Which famous American musician was fatally shot by his father on April 1st, 1984? Shot by his father. Mm -hmm. I haven't got a clue. And this is easy, apparently. I don't know. You guys are probably just shaking your fists at us. Okay? <laughs> That's what makes it fun. <laughs> okay, you want the answer? Yep. Marvin Gaye. I knew this, but I thought it was the other way around. I thought he shot Marvin Gaye shot his dad. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. Jeremy's going to kill me for this because he told me about this. <laughs> <laughs> um... Hang on a second. These are all two. I don't know the answers to these. That's why I'm not asking him. Oh, fuck off. All right. Here's. Okay. My dad will get mad at me for this one. Cause I, Elvis? Yep. <laughs> what was Elvis Presley's first hit in 1956? Oh, it could be so many. I just I don't know the timeline. Me neither. Of any of those songs. Love Me Tender. That's the first one that comes I'm gonna to mind. I'm going to guess Hound Dog. Ooh. Or Jailhouse Rock. Okay. Show me. Is that... What did I say? Love Me Tender? Uh, Love Me Tender. Heartbreak Hotel. Oh, close. I knew that. Fuck. <laughs> My dad's just shaking his head. Yeah. My dad's crying right now. <laughs> yeah. I thought I raised you better. I say that, you guys. So my dad is like... My dad was born in 55. He has like all Elvis's records, even to like a copy of Elvis's will when he went to like Graceland or whatever, right? And that's all dad listens to. Like forever and ever. That's it. Dad's to, to a like, point, satellite radio is on I Elvis was, radio. And that's it. Like you're not allowed to change the channel. I that's was going to say that because I, I drove your dad's truck once. And you said, whatever you do, do not touch the radio. Yeah. And I'm like, why not? Well, it's Elvis radio. Do not change yeah. it. <laughs> You'll know. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so. Yeah. How many points? One each? Uh, we are each at one. I might give you an easy one. Is that okay? Yeah. Please do. Okay. Rapper Vanilla Ice had a hit song titled Ice Ice Baby. From which other song did Ice Ice Baby sample from? Under Pressure. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, it was David Bowie and Queen. Yes. Or was it Queen and David Bowie? Queen, Queen and David Bowie. Whatever. Oh. You'll give me that one? Oh, fuck. Oh, they have very hard, too. That's the next one. Oh, here you go. No. <laughs> I'll give you something hard. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> meh. Uh, do you want another Elvis question? No. No. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, that's, these are too easy. Just pick one. I, All right. I gave you vanilla ice. Come on, man. Okay. Bootylicious has become an accepted word in the Oxford Dictionary thanks to a track of the same name by which artist? Destiny's Child. Oh, oh. Yes. I was gonna say, as soon as it... As soon Beyonce. As just, bo bootylicious. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah uh, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is not going to count, but this is a very hard one. Who was the first Western music artist to be allowed to perform a concert in China? Oh, I think I know this one, actually. Johnny Cash? Elton John. Oh, Wham! Close. Country? El Elton John. What? No. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I heard that wrong, didn't I? You did. Okay. I said, who was the first Western music... Not country and western, but western music artist. 
Anyway, okay, so that was when. Um, I'll give you a... Uh, did you hear that? Yeah, I did. That was my stomach. Um, <gasps> what musician won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2016? In literature? I don't have a clue. Who is famous for his songwriting ability? Any guesses? The guy from Tragedy Hit? <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that not the right answer? We're going to have to cut that out. We're going to lose a lot of fans here. Uh, no, it was Bob Dylan. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who won American Idol season one? American Idol? Yep. Carrie Underwood? I, no. No, that was season two. Is that your final answer? First season. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with Carrie Underwood. Kelly Clarkson. Fuck! The other country artist. Okay. Yes. Damn it. We were talking about her not that long ago. I know. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, hit me with it. Hit me with your bad job. Um, at what unusual institution did... Institutions. Did Johnny Cash record a number of live albums? It was at uh, the prison. But I don't know. Prisons. Just prisons in general is the answer? Yep. Folsom Prison was So that's one. another one for me? Yep. Oh, yeah, boy. Three what? to two. Oh, boy. Okay, I got one for you. Okay. Which singer ripped up a photograph of the Pope on international television? Sinead O'Connor. Ah, uh, you douche. I was even going to give you a hint that it was on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm keeping score right here. Maybe I might missed one. Okay. Nicki Minaj had a well Who? publicized beef with which fellow American Idol judge during her employment as such on the show in 2012. So she was a judge on Wouldn't American Idol. Would it be Idol. Simon Cowell? I don't know. <laughs> on American Idol? Yes. Didn't Doesn't everybody argue with him? Was it well publicized? I don't know. Sure. I, I don't I don't I, don't ask me because I don't know the answer. That's that's my guess. Simon, Simon Cowell? Simon. Mariah Carey. Uh, uh, I was rocking out to her in the car like a week or two ago. Sweet fantasy. Baby. No, the <laughs> do -do 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 -do. <laughs> always be my baby. <laughs> She's good, man. I like her. That's a good song. Okay. What you got? Who are you talking to there? Oh, okay. hit me. Um, Ozzy Osbourne is the former lead vocalist of, of which, which classic, classic heavy, heavy metal? Oh, we're on the same page. <laughs> this is, yeah. Black Sabbath. Ah, you suck. It says hard. That was easy. Right? All right. Um,. Which well-known Hollywood actor claims he turned down an opportunity to be a member of the Backstreet Boys? Mark Wahlberg. Wah, wah, Wahlberg. Wah, wah, Wahlberg. Nope. Oh, no. Ryan Gosling. For real? That's what oh, this that says. sucks. You write down my point? You're four, four to three for you. Bam. So this is for the win. Oh, right. Oh. I got to find a good one here. Yeah, you're going to go with a very hard one? No, I'll keep it medium. 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 <laughs> medium. <laughs> um, dun, dun, dun. Okay. Pick a number, one to ten. Eight. I'm going to go on page eight. <laughs> Now pick a number one to five, and I'll pick the one three. in the top five there. So number three is a medium question. Okay. Ready? 
Are you ready? This is for the win. <laughs> <laughs> a member of which heavy metal band wrote a popular book about his con conversion to Christianity in 2007? I'll repeat. A member of which heavy metal band wrote a popular book about his conversion to Christianity in 2007? That's page eight, number three. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Oh my God. Dio. No. Corn. What? Um, head. I'm sure it's head that they're talking about there. Like the guitar player? Yeah, corn guitarist Brian Head Welch released Save Me From Myself oh. in 2007. I fucking knew that too. Huh. All right, game All right. on. Entertainment icon Elvis Presley passed away in which year? Just to rub in the dad thing. There, Dick. <laughs> I, I thought you might know this one. I feel like I should know it, but I don't. So I'm going to take a stab in the dark, like dark, deep dark. I'm going to say 68, 1968. I thought it was later. I'm going to go 74, 77. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, Wahlberg. Okay. <laughs> For the win. Yeah. What female vocalist sang the song One Two Step? Shit. I have the song in my head. I don't even know if I'll pronounce this right. Uh, uh, when you say it, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I knew that. I'm probably going to pronounce okay. it wrong. But it's Sierra? Sierra Cara? Yeah, sure. C-I-A-R-A. -A. That's all it says. Oh. How do you say that? Sierra. It's in Sierra, S-I-E. No, no, S. Sierra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Sierra. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Oh, um, next page. Oh, fuck, that one's too easy. Which singer began her rise to fame as the winner? Oh, <laughs> you asked me that. Okay, never mind. Okay, this one. You might know this one. The musical group 3T were all relatives of which legendary pop musician? Um, it doesn't say a year. Ask me again. Tell, ask me the question again. The musical group 3T are are all relatives of which legendary pop musician? Uh, Michael Jackson. You are correct, sir. I knew that without looking at the... I had to think. I almost said Prince, but then I was like, I don't know how big Prince's family is. Ty Gabe. Oh, shit. But this is for the win. Uh, you got to pick a hard one now. Nope. I'm going to keep it uh, museum. I'll keep it museum. Oh. Who was the first female singer to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? The, the first name that comes to mind from early rock, actually. I'm going to go Joan Jett, but that's probably not her. 
I was thinking Alana Miles, but I think it's going to be like way older than both of ours. Yeah, I think so. Like, what's that girl's? Who's that girl who was with like Jim Morrison there? They had a fling. What's her name again? They take another little piece of my heart. Bel- uh, Belinda Carlisle? No, no, that's not her. Anyway, it is Aretha Franklin. We're both way off. Rock and roll. So it says in 1987, the late Aretha Franklin became the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Mm. Well, our world is this just is, messed up. And this, it's not just 2020. It's like all, all like, every not, year. <gasps> Aretha Franklin is not rock and roll. Fucking hell, you can win now. That was kind of a hard one, but it was labeled as mesium. Brothers Barry, Robin, and Maurice Gibb formed which successful pop group in the late 50s? Give me those names again. Uh, Barry, Robin, Maurice Gibb. I think I know this one. I'm not going to pick. Fuck if I know. I should know. I want to say something corny like the mamas and the papas or something like that, but that's not right at all. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go with uh, the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees. Oh, good thing that didn't count. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, For the win, the late Michael Jackson is wildly known as the king of pop. Who is considered the queen of pop? They're both on your crush list. The ones that I'm thinking of. Maybe. Maybe. Madonna. That's who I would guess too. It's either Madonna or Britney, but I'll go with... It's not going to be... Oh. I'm, I'm going to go with Madonna. It is Madonna. Fuck yeah! Two more masks for you. Oh, you suck. Dun, dun, dun. You came up with the stakes, man. I know. <laughs> I was giving you easy questions, though. My my next question... <laughs> fuck that. My next question for you was, which music superstar was offered a professional ice hockey contract back in 2012? Justin Timberlake. Oh, you're so close. The other Justin... Beams. Bieber? Yeah. Really? Okay. Although his overall popularity likely played a role, Justin Bieber was apparently good enough at ice hockey to have been, been offered uh, a contract by a mid-level professional team based in California back in 2012. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. The Biebs. I like this. You should do this more often. Yeah. Not as many questions, though. We'll have to go, like, games to three. Maybe. Yeah, because we suck at answering. <laughs> I'll just study all the questions. Yeah. Uh, we should make up our own questions. Well, this is easier. Long Who long. plays the villain in Michael Jackson's Moonwalker? That's a mu- that's that's a movie question. That is. I don't know nothing about music. It's mo- mo- Joe um, Pesci. Cool. Useless information. Yeah. <laughs> what movie... You should have... A... What movie is Justin Timberlake a French-Canadian goalie? Hockey goalie? Yeah. Timberlake? Yeah. The Love Guru. You ever see that movie? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, don't look at me in that tone of voice. <laughs> uh, that was okay. funny. Guys, you should have a, a movie trivia with Jeremy. Yeah? Does he watch a lot of movies? Yeah. He is an encyclopedia of useless information. Stuff, yeah. I think my movie genre is like my spectrum is wider than his would be, though. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> we got to get him on. Yep, for sure. I asked him. He's He's interested. Sweet. So, yeah. All right. Well, I think, uh, I don't know, that's kind of new. There's not much, man, this week. There really isn't. We don't have a lot of news and, yeah. 
Now we're we had guests the last two episodes, and now we feel a little lost. Yeah, so we need more guests. Yeah. Hey, we should do this uh, trivia with guests sometime. Just for fun. Just for fun. Just the tip. Just, just to see how it feels. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> On that note. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys next week.